It wasn't a perfect campaign. There is no such thing. Um, but I was on the way to winning until the combination of Jim Comey's letter on October 28th and Russian WikiLeaks raised doubts in the minds of people who were inclined to vote for me but got scared off. And the evidence for that intervening uh, event is, I think, um, compelling, persuasive. Uh, and so we overcame a lot in the campaign. We overcame an enormous uh, uh, barrage of negativity, of false equivalency, and so much else. Um, but as Nate Silver, who I, you know doesn't work for me, he's an independent uh, analyst, but one considered to be uh, very reliable, you know, has concluded, you know, if the election been on October 27th, I'd be your president. Were you a victim of misogyny, and why do you think you lost the majority of the white female vote? Just to give you a tiny little preview, uh, yes, I do think it played a role. I think other things did as well. Every day that goes by, we learn more about uh, some of the. Uh, unprecedented interference, including from a foreign power whose leader uh, is not a member of my fan club. And so I think it is, a, it is real. It is uh, very much a part of the um, landscape politically and socially and economically. I am going to publicly request that this administration not end our efforts making women's rights and opportunities central to American foreign policy and national security.